No, it happened. It happened. Oh no. I went live. <laughs> Hold on. this works um so yeah it finally happened the day has come where i go live without having my microphone so anyways today i have a blue mouth i'm sorry if that is potentially really we, yeah of course i have my own tiktok open um weird it is weird i don't know i'm having a a cotton candy shake from steak and shake um and i changed my mind about it though like i don't want it now so first world problems. Um, so anyways, you guys, hi, BB Quartz. How are you doing? I, sorry about my mouth though. Yo, TikTok is fire. Thank you. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, well, let me see if my microphone's working. Can I change my mind? Okay, I think, I think it is. So anyways, today we are going to be talking about Sybil. Um, I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I watched the beginning of the 2007 movie, um, but I watched the entirety of the 1976 movie, which we kind of voted on, on it, and we discussed how actually I was going to watch both of them, but I don't know, maybe we can make one for the 2007 one, because I hear that one is less accurate. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot that goes into it, so yeah, this is just going to be a chill, chill one. Um, hi Jennifer, how are you doing? Yeah, the 76 version is the one I know. I know, it was weird watching it like the 2007 one. I was like, this isn't right. So yeah, we will be discussing the real Sybil because it is based on a true story. Um, and like the, the theories that go around whether or not the real Sybil actually had multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorder as it's now called um and yeah anyways it was anyways i'm gonna be honest you guys i was expecting it to be just like split i was like they're like it's gonna be very vaguely accurate but nah actually like i'm sure that there's a lot of people with dissociative identity disorder out there who cannot relate to Sybil at all. And I think that's because Sybil is portraying an overt dissociative identity disorder. And I actually wanna do like a video about this or something because it's really interesting how different they are being the same disorder. Um, so I would be interested if anyone could found anything from it like there were a lot of parts of the movie that i was like okay no like this is not like i don't want y'all to think that i'm gonna say like yes this was so accurate uh mm, probably not for a lot of systems but for a lot of systems i think that it is you know what i'm saying so sybil is based on the true story of and here we go <laughs> We got, we got, uh, Shirley Adrell Mason. We got Dr. Wilbur up in here too. Because I know about Dr. Wilbur because she also worked with Billy Milligan, whom I used to be so strong about this, you guys. I used to be like, Billy Milligan for sure had DID. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. But, um, now I'm like not a hundred percent sure, but, and I don't know, how do y'all feel about Cornelia Wilbur? Because I guess when one of the theories is that, you know, Sybil didn't even have DID, like, in the sense that she was convinced by Dr. Wilbur, which I can, I can understand that point of view. Not that I necessarily agree with it. Uh, it's just that... I understand how it seems odd for one psychiatrist to get so many dissociative disorder patients and then another psychiatrist gets none like i get it but that does not mean that they're like that doesn't mean i don't know i can't definitively say that means anything 
So anyways, um, so Sybil is an art teacher suffering from dissociative identity disorder. Uh, she lived between 1923 and 1998. Um, and she was diagnosed by the American psychiatrist Cornelia B. Wilbur, who was a really big person in the MPD community, whether or not it was a good thing is up for debate. Uh, <laughs> so in the movie, the audiences see how Sybil experiences several, several amnesic episodes. Yeah, I did enjoy that part of the movie was like, we'll, we'll watch some clips. But basically, I, I liked how at the beginning of the movie, they showed it from the alter Sybil's point of view as in complete amnesia, which not all systems will experience complete total amnesia all of the time. So I'm not saying, like, obviously I'm not saying that anything from Sybil was like, for sure, every system experiences that. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I mean, and then towards the end of the movie, you could see her switching from altar to altar and get it from the third person point of view. Um... So yeah, she experiences several amnesic episodes and decides to vi visit Dr. Wilbur. Um, yeah, I mean, she said something that I've heard other people in, like, famous cases say that was, like, I, I thought that everyone was like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, because I, I thought that... I know that there's a big conspiracy going around where Sybil actually did not have MPD, but I'm not trying to say that... I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, there... Yes, I'm going to be reading some articles that say she was fake, but I don't, I, it's an article, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. I wasn't there, y'all. And anyways, all I'm saying, you guys, is like, let's say that she didn't have DID, whatever. The way that the film was put together, I would say parts of it were accurate but obviously, I don't have DID, y'all, so <laughs> I can't really say. All I can say is that I've, like, reached out to some system friends and just been like, hit me up. Uh... Oh, sweet. There's a YouTube video on Shirley Mason's story. Thank. Okay, so dissociative identity disorder in the DSM-5 is an, ex an individual experiences two or more distinct identities or personality states. Um, MPD and DID are, I was gonna say that they're the same thing, but technically they're not because MPD is more what people thought that it was in the day versus whatever. I'm getting too much into detail with that. Hi, Jordan Hollister. Hi, Never Wonder. Hi, thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, yeah, I mean, I was going to do a video. I think I already made a, a video about why not to do Uber Eats. I was thinking about going live about that. But also, like, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so... The end of the movie ruined it for me. It truly did. Like I, like I was saying to you guys, I actually really... I didn't think the movie was terrible compared to Split, you know what I'm saying? But the ending was like, <laughs> like you lost me, fam. Like I, I'd be interested, actually, no, yeah, what was that during the movie when, I'm gonna stop rambling in a second, I, I hope. Um, she would like look into the mirror and see herself as another altar. I don't know. There were some things about the movie, like, and it's so vague for me to say that, yeah, there were some parts that I would say are accurate, but not others, but I can't tell you which at this exact moment. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's read this article and then we will watch some clips. This is basically just um, some people who say that like, I'm not Sybil, basically. It's funny, the funniest thing was when you Google um, Sybil, fake, or the truth about Sybil, um, <laughs> there's just a bunch of articles that are like, Sybil exposed. And I'm like, that is exactly how I title my videos. <laughs> uh, so anyways, media images can be very powerful. When we see something, I mean, hmm. 
especially when it's based on a true story. Our mind, yeah, I don't think Split is based on a true story, so that's at least good. And we are left with the true story as if we are seeing the screen as absolute truth. In fact, yeah, I mean, even what, The Conjuring or something? Like, what is that one movie? I forget. It's not insatiable, but it's insidious. <laughs> um, yeah, that one was based on a true story, but like... What's up, Faye? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? For... <laughs> Why? Thank you so much. What? This is actually, I think, the first super chat I've gotten. Other than my sister. Because support. Wait, any representation causes discourse. Um, it's what we do with disclosure that matters. I think your channel helps with that. That's beautiful, honestly. One. <laughs> Wait a second, you guys. You can see, like, hold on. Like, when you guys send stuff, it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. No, but seriously, thank you so much. Like, what? Um, I actually, like, sometimes forget that you can even do that on my channel. Um, but anyways, I don't know, you guys. Like, at the end of the day, don't please don't take any of things I say in my videos, or any videos, for that matter, as fact. Like... When people comment on my video and they're like, thank you for this information, but I'm going to continue doing research. I'm like, as you should. You know what I mean? Um, okay, let's... Hold on. I want to... Unfortunately, when I hear people about talking about, talking about DID, Sybil inevitably comes up. I can see how that would be. Like, I don't know. A lot, some people with overt DID, though, they don't even think that they relate to Sybil. I don't know if that's because you actually don't or if you... How, how could you know what you look like if you're switching? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, there's various ways, obviously. Okay, let's... So don't judge me, y'all, but... <laughs> I'd be up here. I'd be up here. Okay, let's watch this part of the movie. No, it's Tina. Huh. That's a puny kind of lens for a growing girl. I want you to skimp on your food. Wow. Well, she can help me in the pursuit of me and she thinks that that's a useful pursuit willard oh yeah this was a long movie well honestly i liked how long it was but i wrote down so many timestamps that we would be here all day so um quick food run as you should psycho is the one that comes up in a film school in film school Man, we should we should be watching uh yeah, because like even if they're so un like kinda like split was like ridiculously unrealistic, it's good to review it because it's like how are you supposed to know that? You know what I mean? Um except for the supernatural parts, I feel. Uh I have to ask my friends what they witnessed because I don't remember switches. Yeah, so I I don't know. I'm I'm curious if if it actually is not like people's experiences or if you don't know the way that your alters behave because you're am obviously amnesia i don't know but whatever y'all know what i'm talking about uh wasn't sybil the one that turned out to be all bs like it was made up that's what i thought and i wouldn't be surprised because dr wilbur like mm, we could do an entire live about dr wilbur and we shit we should we should, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about her at this moment other than uh, a lot of people think that she would give people the idea that they had it. I, you know what I mean? It's like, I, I would confirm or deny, but honestly, I wasn't there and I have not done enough research. Um, seriously, 
Well, thanks for telling me. I'm not disappointed by your comment. I'm disappointed by the fact that the audio is off. Hold on. You. You. That's disgusting. Like, I don't even want to look at her face. You know what I mean? And like when, uh, trigger warning for unalive, when Sybil tries to unalive herself, it's so sad, but it, because her mom is gone, she's passed away, but Sybil is still reliving in these trauma memories that happened years and years ago, and she's so defiant of these, not defiant, upset, I don't know, by these trauma memories that she'll literally like want to unalive herself so that she doesn't hurt. It was just, it was so sad. Wait, why is everyone putting an F in the chat? What happened? Wait, what did I say? She's been... 